Okay, today we're just gonna do um, a quick yoga warm up. Could be used for first thing in the morning or after a run or after or at nighttime when you're needing to bring some movement back to tight muscles. So think of when your body's really contracted and maybe we need to go in from within and relax. So today's will be pretty basic. I'll give good instruction and um, let's go ahead and get started. You can set your mat, up, your mat up, get two blocks is always helpful because I'll always teach with blocks. Um, even for myself, it's just an extension of, you know, lengthening your arms or so. So it puts you up in a really good um, position and foundation for your body. So grab two blocks, go ahead, and let's first take a seat. You can cross your legs, put whichever leg in front that you wish. Move your blocks to the front of the mat. Um, you can pick up one butt, buttock, the other buttock, kind of just lift that real estate rock forward, lift it up, and then with the fleshy parts that you're grabbing behind, Keep those lifted and then just plop right on your sits bones. So now you have a really good base on those two sits bones. The flesh is moved out of the way. Again, rock forward, move it up. Bring your hands, your elbows can drop below your shoulders. And begin to come to your breath. So bringing awareness on the breath. Long inhales, deep. Inhales, and then see if you can reach the top of your breath, and then on your exhale, slow extension in the exhale. So just begin for the next minute or two, inhaling, reach the top of lung capacity, and then easily drop it, let it go, your breath. See if you can bring more alignment to the spine. So coming from the beginning of your crown, see if you can extend that to the sky. And then reaching through your spine, lengthening, see if you can drop it down through your sits bones, through your tailbone, becoming more centered. Keeping with that long inhale, long exhale. So really active breath. And then exhaling. Good. And then slowly blink your eyes open. And you can keep with that breath kind of in the background. Paying attention to your long extension, long extension of the breath and deeper inhales. And then go ahead and grab a block in your right hand and just place it in front of your feet. Good. And let's go ahead and take a big inhale together. Look up, reach up with your hands extension towards the sky. Big inhalation. And then as you begin to drop the breath, exhale. Bring your hands into heart center. Bow your head. Two more times. Inhale, lift your arms up, look up, reach up. Big inhale. And then exhale down to heart center. Good. And this time we're going to do a little bit different arm movement. So inhale, reach up, look up. And let's go ahead and bring all that chi we're gathering in. Bring it in through the crown chakra. So just imagine you're bringing all that new fresh chi in through the crown chakra. Good. And then right here, exhale. Move it through, down through the sits bones. Exhaling. One more time like that. Inhale, look up, reach up. 
Bring in all that fresh chi, imagine it coming down, you're bringing it into the crown chakra right here. And then exhale, push, and imagine all the stagnant negative chi going out. Good. Good. And then go ahead and bring that block, and now we're going to move a little. So bring the block into your right hand, and let's go ahead and extend out our left leg. You're gonna bring your right knee to the ground and your right toes behind. So propped up like this behind you, propped up on your toes. Bring a lot of extension out from the right side of your body into your right hand. Your right hand's placed on the block like this. Good, extend that left leg all the way out. Press your hips forward towards me. So towards the front of class. Inhale, your left arm up and over. Nice extension, pressing through the right hand, and then press your chest forward towards the sky. Big heart opener here, big inhales. Big exhales, extending through every part of the body. Press down even more on that right hand. Press through the left leg, all points touching the ground. Press to lift your body up and turn even more towards the sky. If your neck is tight, slim, simply rotate your neck to look at your right hand. So a couple breaths here. Full body stretch here, all points touching the ground. Press to lift your body up. And then with a deep exhalation, inhale your, right, your left hand up and over, land it onto your left leg. Take a breath here, press your hips forward towards me. Good, press through that right knee and then inhale your right hand up and over to counter stretch. So really breathing through long extension breath through that whole right side of the body there, pressing the hips forward even more, pressing through that right knee and pressing through your left foot, good. And then slowly exhale, bring yourself up. And then this time, with both hands reaching out in front of you, I want you to press through, bring that back foot flat so the toes are flat. And then child's pose, modify child's pose with your left leg extending. So here we're gonna go ahead and reach forward, press back, sitting onto that right foot, stretch to the left foot, press your forehead into the ground, good. Arms extended, fingers pressed flat into the ground or into your mat, and simply breathe into any tight parts of your body. Breathe and relax. You can roll out your forehead if you wish. Make yourself comfortable with any micro movements you need to make. And then go ahead and inch your arms over to the right hand corner of your mat or the right hand corner in front of you. And then on your next exhale, let it go. And then inhale your arms over to the left side corner of the mat. Good. And then come back to center, press up through your hands to lift your body up. Tuck your right foot to meet your left, good. Go ahead and sit back on both your heels. Good. Let's go ahead and just roll the shoulders out just a tiny bit here. And if this isn't comfortable to sit, you can bring a block in between your feet back here. Bring your toes flat and then you can just sit right back there. So you can sit seated. Let's go ahead and bring our hands forward to here. So right out in front of us. So seated on the block behind or on our heels. So bring your feet, your hands out in front of you between your legs. So you want to push your shoulders up by your ears here, which usually we don't do in yoga, but we're going to do a different movement that my um, fitness instructor Joy does to help with the neck. So hands out in front placed out in front of you between your knees. So you can have the block behind you or not, okay? Bring the shoulders up by the ears and then simply roll your neck ear to ear. Just a nice roll. 
ear to ear. Keeping those shoulders up by your ears, protecting the neck, good. Now take it to the back, so roll side to side, ear to ear, back of the neck, good. Now chicken neck, so bring it in like a chicken, stack it out. Chicken neck, chicken neck to each side. And just like a chicken, scraping your chin out in front of you. Bring it back in like a chicken. Scrape out in front of you. So chicken each side. Good. Now take a full roll all the way around in one direction. And if you feel like you need to stop it in the area and breathe into it, that's fine. Nice slow roll with your breath, feeling it into between your shoulder blades, and then now rotate to the other side, feeling it between your shoulder blades, your neck, just letting go. Good, letting go of any tension, good. Let's go ahead and come to cat-cow pose. So from here, I'm just gonna do gentle cat-cows. So slowly rounding of the spine, you can come up on your toes here. Exhale. Press through the hands, stretch through the belly, lift. Inhale, and then exhale. Good. So let's take that block in our other hand now. So in our left hand, we're gonna do the other same sequence that we did just a few minutes ago. So take the block in your left hand, extend out your right foot. You've already done this on the other side. Press through the left knee, press the hips forward. Bring your right hand onto your right hip. Good, pause. Here, keep breathing. So just make sure alignment is good. Press through the left hand, press through all points touching the ground. Press the hips forward even more towards me. And then inhale, your right hand up and over. And then really bring in the breath here and turn your chest towards the sky. Root through everything touching the ground. Root through to press up. So ground through every point to lift your chest in this big heart opening. Breathe into your heart, breathe into the day. Couple more breaths. And then exhale, and on your next inhalation, big inhalation, inhale, your right hand up and over to land on your right leg. Inhale, your left arm up and over, hips forwards towards me. So really breathe through that back side body, your left side body stretch. A couple deep breaths here, inhales and exhales. Good. And then inhale, bring your hands forward. Press back into a child's pose with your right leg extended. Breathe into that buoyant air in your back. See if you can inflate your lungs with breath, your kidneys with breath, your rib cage with breath. See if you can float the back of your body and um, expand it and release anything that hasn't been really expanded in a while. See if you can pump it full of breath to reach some of that, expand that fascia in between the rib cage, everything good. And then on your next inhalation, press through the hands, come up to hands and knees, good. Press back, sit on your heels again, and just take a moment to come to your breath in a seated position, good. We're taking things nice and slow today because we're more feeling into how our body, we're more bringing a little tension in to then relax the muscle. So next pose that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and come to a down dog. So begin by placing your hands, remove your blocks out of the way, bring them to the top of the mat, and bring them to each side, so we'll need those in a second. Place your hands down, flatten your hands completely so that the knuckles, the fingers are wide, good. And your shoulders, elbows, wrists are lined up, good. Bring your knees just slightly in back of your hips here. 
Come to your toes. Press through the toes. Press through the arms. Press back to downward dog. First downward dog of class. Pedal out your dog. So bend one knee. And then begin to move through your dog just to work out any kinks here from the morning, from any physical activity from the day. You can press through each side. You can wag your tail in the air side to side. So really what it's feeling like to press through and stretch through the calves, through the hamstrings. Good. And then go ahead and lift your left leg up in the air and just and root through that right foot. Bring the hips into alignment. Good. Press through the hands. Take a couple deep breaths here. Good. Bend your left leg. Bend it over to the right. Sorry, bend your right leg. Bend it over to the right a little more. Open up side body stretch here. And then bring your hips level again and bring your left foot in to meet with your right foot. Lift your right leg up in the air. Sorry, probably com completely confused you on legs, but lift your right leg up in the air. Bend that right leg. Come over to the left side with your foot there. Open up the whole right side body. Take a couple breaths. Bring that knee, hips back into alignment, and then with an exhale, slowly bring that right leg in to meet your left. Come down to your knees. Press back to another full child's pose. So another restorative child's pose. Come to your breath. See what it feels like to be in your body after a little bit more stretching. Feel the spaciousness. Feel the energy moving. Feel the energy, how it's built and spread. And then about the time your breath evens out again, with your next inhalation, go ahead and come up to hands and knees. Good. Press through to down dog once more. Good. Look to your hands with your eyes. Tiptoe your feet to your hands. Good. Bring your feet out about just wider than shoulders feet. Shoulders, hands apart. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, slow roll up. Good. Let me just do a tiny bit of Qigong to finish off. So Qigong, we're gonna bring our feet, kind of a horse stance. So just about hips, bones, maybe slightly wider, okay? Drop the tailbone to a neutral. So you can kind of play between your the pelvis. This is rotating the pelvis all the way out like you're going to spread your butt cheeks. See if you can instead pull your belly button and spine just a little bit and kind of do a neutral. So you don't want overly this way or overly that way. Just neutral. Slight bend in the knees. And then come to your shoulders. Just bring your shoulders, move your shoulders onto your back. So we're kind of making like a nice blueprint body to begin with. Take a couple deep breaths <clears throat> with the intention of relaxing the mind and body. So we just did some physical movement. Let go of any nervousness there that you had. Take three deep breaths just to recenter. Relaxing the mind and body. Second breath. And then one more breath. Good. And then let's go ahead and do just a few Qigong movements. So, so really basic. You can do any time to bring in the breath. So again, bring your arms out. Look up, reach up. Big inhale, big inhale. Even when your hands come all the way to here, to the palate. And then swallow. And exhale, press the energy down. Keep extending into your shoulders. Keep those shoulders away from your ears here. Extending the breath all the way down. Good. Inhale, pretend and imagine you're collecting all the chi in through the air. 
through the crown chakra right here. Inhaling still. Now exhale, press old stagnant chi out and down through the body. Inhale, let the energy rise between your hands with the imagery of bringing that chi in through the crown chakra right here. Inhale, inhale. Now exhale, let all the stagnant, black, negative chi, anything that needs to leave the body out. Good. And let's lastly um, do just a couple things. So let's, let's um, shake out the arms, legs, wrists. So see if you can do like a cat fight with your wrists. And if you haven't done this in a while, it might be kind of sore. So you can go slower if that's the case. If your wrists are feeling pretty good, do full on cat fight. It's like so much fun to get nervousness up this way. Okay, so that's cat fight up and down. See if you can turn your wrist to the side and let them just spin in circles. Other direction, good. Now, side to side. So if you're just doing this. So first we're doing up and down, then we're doing around, then we're doing around this way. See if you can just, good. Roll out the shoulders, shake out the legs. So like you see swimmers on a swimmer block, they shake out the nervousness in their body. So we're just shaking out anything that didn't get released during yoga. Big arm circles. Both ways. Good. Now let's take this goddess pose stretch. So really widen our mats here, toes pointed out. Our knees are gonna to point toward our pinky toes. So a big wide squat here. So in yoga, the English version's um, goddess pose. So again, toes out to the pinky toes, or sorry, knees out to the pinky toes. Inhale, bring your hands on top of your quads, on top of your knees. Exhale, your right shoulder down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Keep those knees pushing towards the pinky toes. Stretch through the inner quads, the inner groin, hip flexors. Inhale, other side, bring the left shoulder down. Nice long inhalations and exhalations. Keeping the hips, the booty pretty weighted down, keeping the knees extending out through the pinky toes. Good, now straighten the legs, bend forward. If your blocks are handy, bring your blocks underneath your hands. Come your forearms. If you don't have any blocks, you can keep your hands on your ankles. Press your forearms into your shins. So a deep, relaxing, letting go forward bend. Forward bends are, are a type of surrender. So surrendering to the body, feeling the energy pour into the ground. And then bring that current of energy up through your heels, up through your leg, up, and then down your spine. Let it pour down out through your forehead. So bring that energy up from the ground, through the heels, the backs of the legs, through the spine, and then from the base of the heart, down through the head. Good. Keep with your breathing here. Bring your hands slowly to your waist and then press through the feet, bend the knees slightly and then roll up the spine, taking a nice deep breath here. So really taking deep, full breaths so that you don't have that blackout sensation. Good, slowly roll the neck open, good. Roll, inch your feet in towards each other while you're rolling the shoulders on your spine, good. So that was today's sesh. Hope you enjoyed it.